feel like I've done a review on this before, but I don't think I actually have. We've had these for over the years, and it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, I'm not a big fan of metal tips, to be honest with you. It's, they're not my favorite thing, but a lot of people like them, you know, and maybe that's why I probably didn't do a review on one of these yet. I mean, it's entirely possible I did. I have no idea what I've done over the years, so you tell me. Uh, but we're gonna do a video anyways. So let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So they do come shipped with these little little plugs, and sometimes they're in there, sometimes they're just floating around in the package. They just come with them. You don't need this. Uh, but if you were to sell them, you know, like a filled mop to somebody, you definitely wanna put those on there. So if you were to sell it, you know, make your own mops and sell them, you put that little plug in there, the cranks are just like it, and uh, you take this little plug out, uh, that way it doesn't leak everywhere. But you're not gonna need this. Throw it away. So, what is it? Uh, it's essentially a two ounce Art Prima mop with a little metal tip here. You guys see it right there? Hopefully that's in focus. It's just a little metal ballpoint tip that screws right onto your, hold on, get this correct here. It screws right onto your mop body. Right there, check that right there. Boom, that's it. That's all it is. Very cutty. Uh, you know, you can use a thicker ink with it. You don't have to worry about diluting it down. Um, I personally, uh, I would love it if we had something like the Steel Blitz to put in these, but it just doesn't exist anymore. So we're gonna have to go with something else. And I got just the thing. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, what we're gonna do today is harvest some ink out of this Spring Fever mop. Now, I know a bunch of you already are probably like, why don't you have Spring Fever refills? GR, why don't you have some? And I feel you, I really do. Um, we've had a lot of issues with supply chain nonsense the past couple years. In case you didn't know, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy couple years. <laughs> but in the meantime, we, we have been having some issues, but I feel your pain. A lot of people want refills for the spring fever. So uh, comment below if you agree that we need to get refills for the spring fever, because I feel like we definitely do. Uh, a little long in the tooth on that one, but regardless, I'm gonna pour it out of this one put it into this one, we're gonna try it out. The Spring Fever White, it's, you know, it's a little bit on the thicker side, right? It's a little bit on the thicker side. So I think it'll flow pretty decently through this mop. And, uh, and I know some of you probably are like, you're gonna put some perp in there, GR. And I thought about it. I really, I gave it some real deep thoughts. You know, I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then I was like, no, we're gonna do something different today. So here's what I'm gonna do. So first we're gonna take some correction fluid, some ballpoint correction fluid from OTR. Now, I don't know if this is in stock at the moment of me making this video, but we do regularly carry it. Um, and you know, I've never mixed it with the Spring Fever, although I think it should mix together perfectly fine. I think it should be okay. So this is a blue ball pen ink. It's very thick. And that's kind of what got me thinking about it. I was like, oh, you know what? It's a little bit on the thickest. <laughs> D-H-I-C-C, a little bit on the thick side, right? So. Um, Maybe we'll get that little bit more control that we're looking for, you know, and still get a little bit of color, a little coloration to our mop ink. And of course, uh, this stuff is very stainy, so it should bleed through quite well. And I'm gonna try and do this without spilling it. Shout out to my poor guys out there. Look at that, look at that, look at that skill, look at that skill. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, all right. Already making a mess of myself. Okay, so. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> got a little too excited with that one. <laughs> we got ourselves a nice dirty mop. Let's go ahead and uh, put the cap on it, shake it up here. And uh, it's gonna turn like like a dark blue, I think. Like, or, I don't know, like, I don't know what color it's gonna turn. Periwinkle, I guess, like a periwinkle. We'll see how it looks. You know, there's no science here. We're just trying it out, seeing what happens. Oh man. Okay, this one is real thick. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I hope that's on camera. We're testing it on the smooth surface first, uh, just to check it out. And, um, you know, just to get a feel for the way the nib writes. And uh, as you can see, very thick, very goopy. If you like goopy, this is for you. Uh, that is for sure. The color is good. It's like a medium purple. I would say like a medium purple. We'll do like a, a little pan of it too when we're done with this. Uh, right now we just want to take a look at how it writes.
the key is to getting your ratio like right. Um, I made a few of these, not just the one that I showed you guys before in this video. Um, this is one of the ones I made. I don't know if it's the one that I made previously, so they're all a little bit different. Uh, so we'll use another one and kind of compare side by side to see how they look. You know, I like to fill a couple up for the video. All right, let's check out this one here. Yes, yeah, so this one's a little bit more lavender. This one's a little bit more blue. There's no exact science to this. You know, you can mix it up however you like, but the colors look really good. Uh, and again, we'll do a quick little pan here, just take a look at it. You'll notice when you write with it, you'll feel that a little ball tip kind of move in and out because it is a spring actuated ball tip, right? So you got to make sure you get that little spring in and you got to give it a squeeze and you got to kind of tilt it up just a little bit as you write with it. And I would suggest writing a little bit slower than you normally would when you're using one of these because you want to make sure you get that nice flow. This has probably simulated something that's been buffed like, oh God, I don't know, like multiple, multiple years. Like by then, I'm sure they probably would have resurfaced it or whatever. I mean, I think we're, we're exceeding the buffness of this surface, if you will. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a couple more of these surfaces so I can kind of spread it out. Because one of the issues that I'm running into is I think the lower layers aren't fully drying when I'm buffing over it. And it's getting a little bit sticky with the markers. So, but they do serve a really important purpose because they do, they do write on some unusual surfaces. And if you're doing like ground tags, stuff like that, uh, I think you'll find them being very useful. And some people really like the aesthetic. You know, there's a lot of people who really, really dig the aesthetic. So if that's you, um, I think uh, you should have no problem using these. Okay, let's try the pinky one. This one shows up a little bit better on the surface, I think. So let's, uh, let's use this one. Now, one thing you will run into with these metal tips is sometimes the nibs will get clogged. You'll get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of pigment or something like that stuck in there. So what you'll have to do is take the tip off and just kind of clean it with a little bit of acetone. Sometimes you can kind of just find like a rough surface and just, you know, kind of uh, beat it up a little bit and it'll start writing again. It's, it just all depends, but you know, there's no one perfect marker. It's always gonna be that way. Everything has its limitations. That's just the way it is. What's up guys? Okay, so let's do one quick test. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how it works on these, you know, uneven surfaces like this chipboard right here, OSB, plywood, or whatever you wanna call it. It's not plywood, but you know, some people may call it plywood. Um, but as you can imagine, you know, the surface is very uneven. Uh, it probably wouldn't take a marker very well, but with one of these, you could definitely get a right with it. And it's, you know, it's not gonna damage the nib. I mean, never say never, I guess. Anything's possible but it should be able to glide over it relatively easy. As you can see, it's writing perfectly. It's a very specific use, uh, but for like ground tags or any time when you're hitting these kind of uneven areas, you should be able to get a write out of it where, you know, a lot of other markers, they probably won't really handle it very well. So not too shabby. They definitely have a purpose. And, you know, that's why a lot of people like them. useful tool in a lot of situations and I think you guys will have um, a lot of fun with this one ground tags rough surfaces uh, situations like that you can't go wrong with it you know it's a very high quality plastic uh, you know not made in China we get these blow molded in the US we get the high quality metal nibs made in the US not that Chineseium stuff uh, the real deal and also you can get this filled up with your own custom mop combinations for a much cheaper price than some of the, the pre-filled ones that rhyme with sink. 
which are good too. You know, everyone, everyone has their own tastes, right? Uh, but you know, for a smart shopper, this is a great deal. And if you really like these type of markers, you can't go wrong with it. Again, I'm more of a mop guy. I'm more of a can guy, really. I'd, I'd really like to get outside and start spraying some paint. But it's been kind of a late spring. It's been raining a lot. So um, hopefully this will clear up soon and we can get out to our new shipping container and get cracking with the can. So it should be a lot of fun. So we'll get out there soon, as soon as we get a nice bright day and get cracking with that. But in the meantime, uh, definitely stay tuned. Comment below if you have any questions, comments, whatever. Uh, you just want to shoot the breeze. <laughs> Uh, just be chill and uh, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was somewhat informative You know helped you out a little bit. Uh, I do like that uh, That uh, what is it that ballpoint pen ink? It works really good with the uh, spring fever, you know made some cool colors out of it um, I think you guys would really enjoy it again. I don't know if it's in stock right now <laughs> It seems like every time I make a movie Something goes out of stock it, or a video. It's not really a movie, but I don't know the long career of GR is a movie, I guess. <clears throat> I should be in the movies, really. But I guess that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys soon, and uh, talk to you later. Peace.